bit of my stuff. I just got back from well we planned to only go to the range and then I ended up popping into next and my mum also went to Dunelm so it was quite funny because I was waiting in next for ages and I started to look like a real weirdo because I'm just walking around with a whole basket of stuff and loads of like expensive jewelry in my hands so I was like oh they're gonna think that I'm trying to steal this but I'm really not um, so that was a bit annoying but then she came and she was like, oh, I didn't realize you wanted my opinion. And I was like, yes, I did. So then she gave me her opinion and we bought. So I'm gonna start with the next stuff first. I just started a new job a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't watched my other vlog um, where I discuss my new job and like life updates, then I got a job in accounting. So I have to dress all nice and fancy and can't wear like jumpers. So I got this like blouse and I think it's very cute and it goes with the blonde hair which is very yellowy at the moment um, but it's a really nice pattern and it's just a blouse and I can wear it with smart trousers and that's the aim so I got that and that was £22 I got it in a size 8 but um, next I find does come up pretty big in sizes so even like the size 8 is sometimes slightly baggy which is nice but I would recommend going at least a size down because they're usually quite baggy stuff and then I just got this black long sleeve top um, which was 650 and I got that because I've started doing wedding hair and makeup with my sister and we just wear like all black when we're doing the wedding hair and makeup so like black jeans black top but because I have quite a few tattoos on my arms I just like to cover them so that people aren't sort of looking at them and because um, no one would really ask um, so yeah I just don't want them like looking at my arms while I'm trying to do their makeup so I got a long sleeve black top for that weekend stuff that I've been doing then I got this really cute necklace which I'm really excited about to wear so it looks like this this is the chain and then this is the necklace and then it's got this like padlock here and it's in a heart shape and it reminds me of the Louis Vuitton one because um, they've got a new one which has a padlock on it it's just a normal padlock the Louis Vuitton one but I quite liked the chain that went with this because it looks all like snazzy so yeah and that was £10 I think it's definitely worth it I'm gonna be wearing it to work I think because it's simple so it can go with most of my blouses and things then we had this issue with earrings so I wanted some earrings to put in the second hole and the third because my ears are really sensitive when I put like cheap earrings in I find so many nice ones in Primark but they just don't go well with my ears I end up having like all disgusting ears so I needed some sterling silver ones and I picked up these two so I got this one which has A for Amy and then like the heart and the silver and then I got this sterling silver pack. This was actually one pound more. These were only five, but obviously it's sterling silver. So I was like, maybe I should go for that one. And I was waiting for my mum to come. So I put them both in my basket and I forgot that I was meant to take one out. And then the woman is like talking to me when she was um, scanning all my stuff and like asking me if I wanted a perfume. So I forgot. So now I've got two and I don't think I'm gonna be able to return them because they're for your ears. So I'm just gonna have to keep them, so that's great then I got this it's meant to be a ring holder so I don't have any rings on at the moment but yeah I've seen them and they're meant to be pretty good so I thought why not have more tat in my room so that's what we've gone for um, and I think how much was it it was storage I don't know why is this so hard black top flower cacti was it
right, this receipt is not in line. How am I supposed to figure out what goes with what? I think it was £2.50, I think. Let's hope. Next, I got this Paradise Porthame. Someone tell me how you say that. And it's just like a floral perfume. I will open it if I can find some scissors. Why? It keeps going really bright and then really dark again. And I can't see. I'm just like opening it. Don't try this at home. It's very dangerous. There we go. So, it's a little handbag size, perfect for when I'm at work and I want to smell fresh. Um, yeah, and it was £4 and I think that was pretty good, little handbag, cheap one. Um, I don't really want to wear anything too nice for work, so I have like some Dior ones and stuff, but I don't really want to wear that for work. So I thought this would be better because it's cheap and it smells good. Then, the stars of the show is these two little cacti that I got. This one says, can't touch this. And this one is a little strawberry and it's got the little green like leaves of a strawberry. It's so cute. We are back to really dark. Um, yeah, so I thought it was really cute and it's got a little face on it. So I got that as well. And that was it for next. I think the um, the cacti were five pounds. Yeah, I think you're mainly paying for the pot. And I thought that when the succulent eventually dies, I can put a candle in there or something. So that would be quite cute. Then we're going on to what I got from, where was it? The range. So. This is my new plant. I'm trying to make my room look a bit more sophisticated because it looks very crazy. Like I had postcards all over the wall. I had like every color in the rainbow in the room. So I'm trying to make it mostly white with a few colors in it, but not too crazy. And I'm trying to just get rid of some stuff because I have so much stuff in my room. Um, yeah, so this was, if I can find it, um 5.99 which i think is pretty good it's quite big as you can see um but on a little work top i thought it would look kind of cute because i didn't we were looking at flowers with colors in like roses and tulips and stuff and they just look too much um i don't really want like a color to add to the room that already has loads of color in it so we didn't go for those then i got these boxes little wicker boxes to go under my bed and you get three in there and they're 10 pounds for three. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, good deal. So I will be filling those up with stuff this afternoon. It's four o'clock already. Um, I didn't get up until about 12 because I was editing a video, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try and tidy my room a bit after this video. Um, I got a beauty blender, random thing, but I needed it because my one is disgusting. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be as nice as the Real Techniques one, but I'm not holding my breath because it was like two pounds, but I needed a new one and I couldn't be bothered to go to like a super drug or something because that's in town and I didn't actually, the shops that I went to are right near my house, so that's quite nice. So yeah, I was not planning to go anywhere far today. Um, and there's only a few more bits. So I got this chalkboard bunting, which is gonna seem really random, but I'm photographing for my brother's wedding reception and there's gonna be like a little stand where they can sign a guest book and take a Polaroid to put in the guest book. And I was thinking that I would have a little bunting saying photos in like big letters so that from far away people can see that that's where they need to go when the DJ or whoever tells them to. So that's that. And then I got this frame which says, I love you, which is really, really cute. 
and I got this for my brother and my sister-in-law. So they're expecting a baby in about a month, I think, now. And for my other brother, uh, about four months ago when they had their little one, I did a newborn shoot and then I gave them a nice frame with a print in it, as well as, um, like, what do you call it? Electronic copies of the photos that I took. So I did that for like free and it was a gift and I think I'm gonna do it again for my other brother but I wanted to get a nice frame so that I can print a photo off and give it to them as a little gift. So that's that. The bunting was a pound and the frame was three pounds and then a print will be not much. So yes, and I also got some sawdust for Dennis which I had to carry around the range whilst I was like walking around with my mum once I'd finished and look how big it is. It's very very heavy. I need to clean out Dennis but um, he's currently in his cage. I'm gonna move him into his pen outside and then I will clean him out. So yeah I think that's the end of this haul. I, if you care, I got Dennis some um, little chew sticks but you're probably not worried about those because the main thing is next and the range so yeah I spent quite a lot considering what I got but um yes I'm still a little bit annoyed about the earrings like because I don't need both boxes of earrings like so but um yeah can't be bothered to return them nor try to return them because they might not even let me so yeah and please excuse my face, I have no makeup on because I couldn't be bothered, but I really wanted to film this, so I was like, we'll just do it anyway. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and let me know what you think of the range. It's a new thing for us, I don't know if anyone else got one sooner. We only got one maybe like two or so months ago, um, maybe three and it was like a craze for the first month everyone was going there and now it's died down it's still really busy but it's not as busy as it was the first month because that was ridiculous they had like 10 people on the tills um and the queues were just ridiculous but yes so hope you enjoyed please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and if you haven't watched my la vlogs then they will be linked at the end in my last video little section of my outro and you'll be able to click on the whole playlist so you can watch all of them um some of them are longer than others so yeah please go and check them out bye i feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town i'm searching for the lost and found but you don't care you're unaware keep moving like the scars aren't even there it's in the air like a blazing flame